So there is trouble at the Assemblies of God Church in Ghana after there was some uh, inauguration thing or appointment of a pastor or something that was going on. It didn't go very well. There was police that were called. People were in uproar. All kinds of things were. It was it was upside down. You can see armed people there uh, in order to protect the leadership because the church was not having some of the decisions that these people were making. I'm going to play you the video and uh, they were very much vocal. Uh, the people had to leave but luckily they had guards and everything. This is what has been happening. I think it's in the Ashanti area uh, in Ghana at the Assemblies of God. So, we're going to read a portion about this particular news. Hey, you know, I heard someone mentioning it. And I was kind of like trying to find it online. Ah, dololo. <laughs> I could not find. And so if you do know about it or do have a, a full on understanding of the story, I do alert us or brief us down in the pinned comments so we can understand. I understand that this happened like a few days ago from the time which uh, the place where I'm watching it, it actually says uh, this happened about on the 22nd or this video was posted on the 22nd so i'm asking myself when exactly did it happen so without further ado, i do i do have a verse that i want to read alongside this particular subject with this particular tone or this particular idea accountability to the scripture it's a very important thing accountability to what the bible actually tells us is right it's the reality show with the daily christian commentary videos if it's the first time over here to be sure check out some other videos that are down in the pinned comments and i'm gonna check you guys over there and so start off with the video which i am talking about which was a uh, in relation to this particular story if you have not seen people were not having it they were very much pissed off at some of the decisions The Ashanti West Region uh, Executive of the Assemblies of God in Ghana, led by the regional uh, superintendent, arrived at the church premises yesterday, and so which means the 23rd, uh, they arrived at the church yesterday with armed police officers and military personnel uh, to inaugurate a pastor who the church had clearly expressed opposition to, okay? And so, somehow they figured they could go around, you know, and there would be a reason why the church uh, think probably they know him, the local people know him, they know he's a, he's a, he's a public dodgy man. <laughs> but it's what they say later on here that actually gets you thinking on that. It says, they say the church was clearly uh, uh, expressed opposition to, you cannot pay to cover up the story by claiming these armed police uh, policemen were just there to escort. Okay, so it looks like they were there to force themselves in a uh, thingy. And so, why would you bring armed police officers if you are if you are doing the right thing? So they, it looks like they wanted to kind of like force their way into the church. Into an, an inauguration or an ado, uh, ordaining a person, I, I, I just it, it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, the name of the Lord is blasphemed amongst the Gentiles, 
and because of your actions and so you know what verse he's talking about god is watching the 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 post goes to say so it looks like this is a, a, the church was not having a one particular individual amongst the people that we saw them shoving against who i guess the this particular regional superintendent or whatever you might call it wanted to, to push forward for the church and the church said, no, we know the guy. We know the dojiman. We know and we do not want, we are not interested. So they do mention in the, in that caption, payment. So I'm not sure, you know. So you can tell us, you know. <laughs> the thing is, we can't hear the language that's been spoken. And also, who exactly is it? Is it this man who's been escorted there or, or who is it? And the verse that I want to talk about here it's from philippians philippians chapter number three uh, and philippians chapter number three sixteen to 17 puts it in this way it says nevertheless we must live up to what we have already attained and so speaking of a person who is saved there is a standard that they live up to May they live up to that standard ephesians chapter number two verse number 10 illustrates that it says uh, we are uh, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, unto so towards good works, and so that is so that that's what Philippians is bringing up there. It says we are we must to the standard which we already have attained. He says join uh, join one another in following my examples, brothers, and. Uh, Careful, carefully observe those who walk according to the pattern we set for you. Okay, and so watch out for those people that are in that particular because those are the people that are more reliable leaders for a church. Do not want doji doji man people there on the pulpit because it creates problems. And so, this particular church in the Ashanti region said, No, the people you want to put there. We do not want them. They are dodgy people. They are dodgy people. We will not associate. We do not want our church to be associated with such. And if you go back into uh, First Corinthians chapter number five, that's a situation is that the church in the in in in, in Corinth has an individual that they should uh, cut themselves off from. They should excommunicate this individual because he, he will taint as the person who was captioning that. says It will taint. The Bible says, if it, the way of truth is evil spoken of. This is Apostle Paul. He says, the way of truth would be evil spoken of because of these people that you keep pushing forward. They even brought police and soldiers in order to force themselves in. The church said, no, we are not using it. You and your police and your people... Zokai, <laughs> not Zokai, <laughs> exit the church. And that's the standard. You know, that's what you see in the prophet suddenly thing is that the, the audience that's supposed to be the one that receives the message must be the one that rejects the charlatans. Otherwise, you keep creating room, you keep creating room for these things. So I salute them, but I would still love to hear a little bit more if you do know, because there wasn't much information around and even when i was looking to see maybe if the other uh, bigger pages in in ghana would have posted about it i couldn't find anything <laughs> there was nothing and the only uh, few that i actually did see they were all speaking in ghana and stuff so it just didn't help the information but this church according to what i'm seeing here they have declared we do not want any association with this man them and so i hope you saw where the post is that's how we are supposed to be. The, the Bible actually uh, uh, um, salutes the brethren who were from, from the Berea area. It says they, they don't just take what is being said. They take what's been said. They go and confirm whether the scriptures does confirm. That's how the Bible wants us to be. It's the Rikshuari to show daily Christian commentary videos. I hope this video finds you well. That's the standard we should seek to have in our churches. Other episodes done today, down in the pin comment.